Yes, I'm Nor. I'm just looking a little different. Good morning, guys. Uh, we are heading down to LA. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. This is either good or bad, but this is all I packed. Got my clothes, my laptop, some snacks, my Kamiami, and all my grooming essentials. So everyone's asleep right now, guys. And you guys are probably wondering what we're doing, well, like why we're going to LA. The thing is, I think we found a good giveaway car, so we're gonna head down there. How you doing, buddy? What's up, bro? Morning. <laughs> Everyone's hella tired. We just load up all our stuff in the car, guys. Hopefully everything fits. We're on our way to LA. Look at these guys. <laughs> What's going on? Did you see? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Let this uh, seven-hour journey begin. Stop, we're about to get something to eat. It's, it's, it's early. Let's get something to eat, right? See? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, we just finished our food. We're heading out. We're heading out. We're heading out. Oh man. This is gonna be uh, the longest. Oh, she's gonna be pretty short. Yeah, hey, if we, Lassier's in the car, it's yeah, gonna be it's short. gonna be quick. <laughs> we'll catch you guys when we're either there or on the drive. <laughs> guys in the side of the road because we hit a major pothole or something I don't even know if my rim got bent oh man I think it's this wheel we gotta check it out guys it feels like something from this rim right here I'm not really sure what happened though because like the rim from the outside looks physically perfect right so it looks like maybe from the inside or something underneath the, uh, the car let's just go ahead and figure it out real quick all right, guys, this really sucks. So this is a really weird vibration when we're driving. I don't know what it is. The rims don't look bent, right? No, no, no. The tires look fine. So it could either be the strut. We just literally just messed up my air suspension, which could really suck. Or it could be a control arm, or it could be a warped tire. We just don't, we can't really see it. So um, we're just gonna have to stop by a tire place to figure it out, I guess. All right, guys, so a Le Schwab, the closest one's an hour and 30 minutes ahead of us. The car is vibrating, but it looks, luckily the wheel and tire seem fine. Hopefully none of that blows on the highway while we're driving. And, I'm really hoping. We're just gonna drive slow, uh, keep it under maybe like 60 or maybe even 70. I don't know, we'll see. It's not too bad, but something's clearly wrong. So we'll check back to you guys when we're actually at a tire shop. All right guys, so um, this car is actually not too bad. We're starting to think if it's a strut, the car would've been bouncy, it would've been messed up. The whole driving would've been messed up. If it was the rim that's bent, I feel like the steering would be shaking like hell. I think it's honestly something could be small, like either a control arm, worst case, or uh, best case for me just needs a wheel balance and a tire according, like that's what we need John to think, right? Alignment and, and alignment. Tire balance. So, could be that. Uh, Le Schwab is about an hour in front of us, so we're just gonna keep going ahead. Thankfully, at least our tire didn't blow. We're th I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just happy that we're not stuck on the side of the road. So we're able to drive. Let's get to the tire shop, keep you guys posted. All right guys, we are pulling up at Le Schwab right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the car checked up. I think they do a free checkup, at least the one at Elk Grove does. I'm not sure about the one in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that felt so bad. Okay, well, yeah, let's go ahead and figure out what's going on with my suspension. Here at Le Schwab, uh, let's figure this out. Well, that's nice, not bad. What happened? Guess, guess which one Siri went into. The woman's. <laughs> There's no other, dude, this is in the middle of nowhere, bro, it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so they're gonna go ahead and do a diagnostic on the car. I'll keep you guys posted what's going on. All right, guys, so we just got out of Le Schwab. I got my popcorn. I was about to sit down, but it looks like they pulled it in and pulled it out, like, super quick. I have a bent rim. Like, that's sucks i mean out of all things it has to be a bent rim i just got these rims on the car it's whatever he said the rim the, the dent is like the bend is like long but not deep so i can still drive on it there's gonna be a vibration but i can still drive on so that's cool he said it's safe to drive on it so i'm gonna continue to drive um hopefully if i'm down there if i can find a shop that may be able to bend it back i'll do that if not i'll order a new rim it is what it is All right, guys, we at the gas station. First fill up. Oh, man. All right, well, I'm just, I'm really happy, guys, that we're still on the road. So that's good. Let's fill it up real quick. All right, guys, so we kind of ran into a little bit of trouble. Your boy in Noor does not know how to use a debit card. I didn't know it's only debit. I thought it was credit. Oh, yeah, shit happens in life, you know? Y'all good? Mm -hmm. Man, crack is one hell of a drug, huh? You good? I'm chilling. Don't die on me, shit. 
We're here back again with another YouTube video and today M4. M4. Oh mother. Oh, right. oh sheesh. It's finding Nick. I think I think he drives a red car. Not a blue one. <laughs> well that would have been better if you would have told me that in the first place. We are officially here at the hotel. Sir, why is your car making that sound? <laughs> the end of the driveway and right. right. All right, cool, thanks. Say hi. I don't want them barking this thing. I want to air out. <laughs> I, legit, I legit just gave myself a ticket <laughs> that I got to pay for. Ooh. Ooh. This, all this stuff doesn't sound healthy. All right, guys, so we are finally here. We're just going to park in, check in, and then we're going to actually head out to check out the car. And we're actually meeting up with Finding Nick. So if you guys don't know Finding Nick, He's also another YouTuber based here in LA, so uh, we're gonna hit him up and then hopefully check out the new car. All right, guys, here at the garage. I didn't do the valet. I wanted to park it myself so I can air out. Ooh, buddy, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and get our luggage and hop in the room real quick. Damn, this looks so good. Thank goodness we did not bust the tire, bust the rim, and we can't take photos today. That would have sucked because I would have had to put a boot and I wouldn't be able to like air out. So that is such a blessing. Even though it's bent, we can still enjoy our day. So let's go out. All right, guys, just got the money. It's just chilling. So let's go ahead and check out the car and give him an offer. And hopefully we get to pick up a, a project for you guys. Not a project. Actually, it's almost in perfect shape. A giveaway car. So I'm super stoked. Finally, the time has come. I jumped all the way down to LA for you guys. Hopefully, I can get this for one of you guys. And uh, I'm stoked. It looks amazing. All right, guys, so we are pretty much uh, about to approach the car. In about 12 minutes, we'll be next to the car. We're going to check it out. The reason we were checking out this one is because it has a check engine light, and I'm sure it's something minor, and we can fix it. You know, save a few hundred bucks. That pothole, oh, my God, it scared me. Oh, my God. Guys, after after we, we just bent a wheel, I'm scared of every single pothole on the road. Oh, buddy. All right, guys, that is the car. Um, I'll show you guys a close-up in a bit. Here it is. It's a blue. 328i oh my god but this looks really good let's go check it out hi right, guys i'm not gonna pull out a camera i'm gonna go check it out and i'll let you guys know okay, so we just checked out the car what do y'all think <sighs> not okay not good <laughs> not, not okay. this that, is why you guys have to make no. sure you know what you're doing yeah. don't just go in there has a few like we, no. we came all the way out here like six and a half hours to basically buy this car you know what he told us was all, like he told us there was barely anything wrong with it the car is messed up like i mean beyond messed up like it has all the lights on the dash the whole body's messed up car barely even drives right the registration is not even up to date like it looks like it needs at least three thousand dollars worth of work so we we're like forget it we thought it was just we really thought it was just gonna be an ignition call bro that was so bad yeah you, so you offered i couldn't believe it. yeah so it is what it is i i offered the price that i offered so i can actually give you guys more content show you guys all the repairs but yeah now nah, i'm good i'm good i'm chilling it's definitely not worth it so we're gonna go ahead and uh either get something to eat hit up nick or uh we'll see what's gonna happen here guys so he just actually just called me and uh he told me come back i'll accept 1700 i literally dropped the price in half and uh he was still willing to accept it because of how messed up the car is just just for that i'm not gonna accept it because it's like that that must be really messed up if you want to take half of what you're asking for so uh we're just gonna head back it's unfortunate actually we're gonna have a good time here we're gonna have a good time we're gonna you know say live it up you know, you know it, it's whatever we're already down here we're gonna have a good time we're gonna maybe look for other cars so you never know what's gonna happen but yeah that car it's a no-go so yeah, guys i'm gonna set up a few pictures of what that car was just so you guys know what we were looking at so basically it was blue on the outside it was brown on the inside heated seats navigation sports it was it was a pretty good spec even at keyless entry which was really nice i actually really consider you know 32 put about a grand 1500 into it make it look really nice you know that that's something i would have done for you guys it looks like i would have had to pay probably even if i got the car for he was actually getting it down to 1700 the car has over three thousand dollars in damages then that that's from what i can tell like the car like you put your foot on the brake and the car goes. <laughs> the wiring has some serious problems. I don't really know. We're not gonna deal with that car. Um, I offered him 14. I was like, yo, bro, if you take 14, I'll come back. But that that's that's really being that's me being nice. Like I'm not trying to disrespect him, but the car was that bad. Anywho, we're gonna go and chill and look for other cars and probably get something to eat, probably hit up Nick. So uh, let's see what goes on with the rest of this vlog. All right, guys, we found a little nice place to shoot. So we're gonna go ahead and just shoot a few shots over here. Why not? And then uh, we'll head out to Nick. Guys, 
guys, so we are here at 412 Motorsports. This is uh, where Nick does all the magic. So I don't know if you guys know 412 Motorsports, we were here. The last time we came to Beamer Fest. Dude, look how many cars are here. Look at that bag Genesis. What? Devon, where you at? I'm just gonna be waiting on Nick. Let's see where he's at. All right, guys, so now car is parked there. Nick's car is all the way over there. It's something that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys are the OG subscribers, this was basically my first car. I had a 330i, this exact same color. Good times, but um, this is a 325, so it's not, or a 328, not the same car. But the exact same color, exact same chassis. Ah, good times, good times. It's crazy what can happen. I think this has only been like a year and a half from this to this. Pretty insane. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on over here. This is the shop drift car from 412 Motorsports. Look at this, guys. Dang, full track car, cage and everything. I would paint the cage, but I mean, other than that, this looks pretty crazy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like swapped. Everything's custom, single turbo. I don't know if you guys also know that if you guys watch Nick's videos, he actually got some new wheels on his M3, and there's an F80 M3 just casually sitting there. We'll go check that as well. But I mean, check out Nick's M3. This looks so good, bagged out. I never really wanted to bag my car until I saw Nick's car. This looks so good. I just love slammed cars now. But I also like practicality, so I like the whole point of bags where you can actually air down and have it like a show car, but at the same time air up and still be a practical car. The lip is coming soon. I need the lip. I think Nick also has like a half cage. He got carbon there. He got some new three-piece wheels. That's the thing that's like really new. Um, side skirt extensions, which we're going to be getting as well. Custom steering wheel, which I'll show you guys. You got one from Azza. Azza wheels, which is super nice. Carbon spoiler, and yeah, it's an M3, boys. This thing is fully straight piped. Hope you guys can hear it today in today's video. We're going to be going down a Rodeo Drive, so you guys will be able to hear it down there. He's not going to go too crazy because there's cops everywhere, but you guys should be able to see it in action. And check out this F80 M3 just casually sitting here. It looks super aggressive. I don't know if this is like a normal M3, but this looks so good. I'm actually like... Oh dang, he actually like scraped her a little right there. But other than that, damn. One day, guys, one day. I don't know how I feel about the gray though. I do like the crazy colors that M3s and M4s come in. So yeah, if I was ever get one, I'd probably choose one with a crazy color. What's shaking, Bacons? You just chilling? Guys, I'm really considering on getting an E36. I don't know why. I actually is starting to really like these cars, especially making like maybe a track or maybe even a drift car, maybe even a show car. You guys let me know down below. But I'm really considering on getting an E36 on the channel. I just don't, I, I've pretty much been sticking to the E90X chassis and I want to change it up. And also for the giveaway, I was going to do an E90 chassis, but I'm thinking about changing it up. While we're still down here, I'm really trying to look for an either an E36 or an E46 M3 to give away one of you guys. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, this is just thoughts. Obviously, if the prices are too crazy for me, I'm not there yet, but we'll try to figure out something for you guys. You guys, low key, Nick hasn't been here for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <sighs> we gotta find him. We, we gotta we gotta find finding Nick. <laughs> uh, Nick! <laughs> Nick! <laughs> <laughs> Nick, <laughs> well, we're still waiting on him. We'll, we'll let you guys know where he is. Oh, oh shit. my god! Bro. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. Gunshots! I told you that shit's crazy. Yo! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> What's going on, bro? How are you? We're shaking. I'm chilling, bro. Oh, my bad. I took the line. Bro, is this shit legal? <laughs> What's going on, bro? Anyways, we found Nick. <laughs> We're like, where's Nick? Where's Nick? Find Nick. <laughs> my God. One day. I know you want one of these, right? Yeah, these things are absolutely insane. I... Who? For real? F80 or M4? I don't know. F82? Really? I used to love the coupes only. I used to hate the Ford over All of a sudden, I've been liking them. I mean, no, it looks fenders. great. The the yeah, bro, it looks, dude, they're so wide. Oh my God. The white interior is my favorite interior. Honestly, like I prefer it over red nowadays. I don't know why. Cage, obviously manual. This thing is insane. Like it's tuned and everything. Oh my God. Okay. Guys, I cannot wait till mine's is modified. Upgraded turbos? Everything. Like stage two? Yeah. For real? Everything. How, you know how much power it has? He said he thinks like 700 pounds. Oh. Damn. <laughs> For real? What the heck? By the way, guys, so also, if you guys don't know who Nick is, Nick also makes BMW content, stuff like that. He's actually gonna be filming his reaction to my car, so make sure to check out his channel down below. Um, I'm super hyped. We're gonna be going on a Rodeo drive together. I've never actually been to Rodeo drive. That's where all, like, pretty much the rich people are at, right? Oh, my God, yeah. Kind of. Well, it's, kind of, well, it's just like a huge shopping area. Yeah. Like, Super high-end shopping. Where are the rich so. people at? When I Pretty hear, much. <laughs> when I hear that name, all I think is Lambos. Yeah, that's all I think about. So I also heard there's a lot of crazy cars out there. So hopefully you guys can see all that. Guys, oh my, look at the red. This is, what, what wrap is this again? Dragonfly red. Oh, it's not Candy Apple. No, Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Red. This looks insane. No, yeah, no, this is def. You're known for red, bro. Look what he's wearing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's all red. I got red everywhere. Look at this, bro. I got red everywhere. 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 Should I do? Should I do copper for everything? I don't know. I don't know. I might. I might try to do something crazy. <laughs> Guys, look at this steering wheel. This is from Ozzy. Oh uh, yeah. Ozzy. Oh my God. Uh, so this is some kind of NASCAR looking steering wheel. <laughs> look at these paddles. I haven't got to show that many people. Bro, I'm scared to drive this. It's pretty scary. It's pretty like scary, I feel like but... if I accidentally like. <laughs> yeah, bro. I like, it's like I'm too scared. Wall, bro. Like, it's just all yeah. tension, it look, you know? Like, it looks crazy. It looks crazy. It and, like, talk about it. Pictures, too. It looks crazy. Pictures. Yeah, that looks crazy. Exactly. That's why I was like, it's perfect for like us. Yeah, for real. Oh, yeah, I remember this. You painted all this white yourself, right? So, uh, this is Nick's E46 M3, which. Full drift car, bro. It's a lot of work, but. <laughs> it does. One day. One day. Be this, nice. We are planning on actually finishing it, right? So he actually did a custom motor and everything for this car, which is insane. Like he, you guys have built it like ground up, right? Yeah, it should be like 700 horsepower. Single turbo. Seven, single turbo? I'll put the exhaust out the hood. <laughs> I swear. That's gonna be insane. So anyways. I think we might put anti-lag on it, everything, bro. Crazy. What is it called? Like anti-lag or whatever. What is that? Rev it and it's like, just shoots like, crazy flames in there. For real? Are you trying to get arrested? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine flames shooting out your hood and the cops behind you. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, this looks crazy, bro. I mean, it is a project. I've seen you guys have seen projects on my channel, but he's got the cage. He's already got it gutted. They're working on the motor and everything, so this is a work in progress. But this is gonna be like your drift car, right? We're going full race car. Like. For <laughs> all the way to the oh man, check that out. That's crazy. I, I really want to do this, but I, I'm thinking about an E3673 drift car. You guys let me know, but I do want to have a drift car one day on the channel. Uh, the closest drift place is like an hour from me, but I do want to get it started. I need, I need to get a truck. I need to get a trailer. It's a lot of things. Hopefully we'll get down to it. I mean, in the meantime, if you guys are trying to see some stuff, this guy, he might be, he, he probably be for me most likely. So that's sick. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, I, I only knew Sierra for a little bit. He was a good kid. <laughs> let's head over to my car. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, we just pulled up. That was absolutely insane. Let's get something to eat. Dude, my ears hurt I know, so bad. Uh, I bet you Sears having such a he, <laughs> Sears gonna, he, he's gonna convert to a BMW lover. I'm oh telling you. Oh my god, he's gonna be a part of the crew, right? He's here, gonna right be part now. of the gang. This is what this happens. Right here. He, he, he gave him a taste of uh, uh, hell. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. He's, oh, he, he doesn't know what's coming. It's so quiet. My my dude, my car has no exhaust. I have to get an exhaust. Oh my god, Whoa. that's crazy. Damn, that huh? See, how do you feel? Bro, I saw my life flash around. <laughs> he was like, oh. Five, <laughs> five, yeah. Yeah, bro. 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 Barely. <laughs> hey, as long as it works. You guys know my, I dropped mine when I was doing a car wash. Ah, uh, bro, I, I paid sixteen, thirteen dollars, thirteen dollars for this. And you paid, I probably paid the same. <laughs> I paid all that. Oh my God, there's so much food. Grab, bro, grab, grab, grab. That's so much food, honestly. All right, my fat ass destroyed all this. He destroyed all that. Nick, what what is going on, dude? Couldn't even finish his baby oh, kids oh, meal. Oh. <laughs> all right, y'all. So that was that. We're actually gonna go down to Rodeo Drive right now. Uh, we're all pretty much finished eating, so let's head down. It is what it is, my G. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You full, bro? You full, bro? Uh, I'm ready for donuts with ice cream. I know, guys. So basically, there's this donuts place out here ice cream. that have ice cream inside of donuts. Oh, that took us out last time. It was so good. You guys have tried it yet? Uh, it's so good. Like, it's you, very you, very you, I will show you guys. Sears chilling. I'm over here. Oh my! It looks so, it looks good, so good, dude. Okay, so Sears went with uh, with Nick. You know, he, he, he's, like he, he's enjoying. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're enjoying life. We're gonna go ahead and jump in the beauty. I right, we're here at O'Reilly's real quick. Just gotta get some uh, oil because that's that's the V8 life. I remember I had to do the same exact thing. Ooh. Remember those days? I thought it was something wrong with my car, but apparently it's completely normal for uh, S65s. You see you guys? You yeah. pay the supercar tax. 1532. The oil right now? Yeah, I got a V8. <laughs> <laughs> for real. 
Oh that my god. Christmas paper. What the? Oh! You still it. have that? Dude, there's so much tape everywhere. Look. I should have never did that. Really? It messed my car up. Look. Still some tape everywhere. Guys, I missed this motor. Oh my Dude, god. Swap it. Huh? Just swap it. Nah, bro, it's a lot of problems. Engine swap. And the gas, man. I ain't trying to deal with it. Dude, I miss this engine, man. This looks so nice. Oil change DIY? You <laughs> In the middle of a parking lot? It's not good. You sold it, huh? <laughs> good thing, right? <laughs> Skirt! We're good now, right? Alright. Oh, she's not playing. <laughs> uh, I like to hear <laughs> We are officially on Rodeo. We got my car, we got Nick's car. Look at us, like, oh my, we had, bro, we, we talked about it and now we're here. That's what's up. That's what's up, that's crazy. Anyways, we're just gonna walk around. Everything's closed right now, but we're just gonna check out the area. Just, you know, scope it. Maybe take a few shots of the cars right here. Uh, but it's super nice, I'm super excited. Oh my God, is it five degrees? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's got a lot of paparazzi going on there, bro. <laughs> How do you feel, Norm Fadi got bags? How do you feel about that? Uh, he copied me, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Dude, the lighting looks so good. It looks good with the lights on. All right, guys, so we basically, uh, damn. We got down to the Rodeo Drive. We just walked a little bit. This, all the stores are pretty much closed. We're gonna head down to get some bomb. Oh my God, this guy, <laughs> this guy has to flex. All right, let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll catch you guys over there at the ice cream place. Nick decided to set up the car alarms. <laughs> <laughs> you guys missed it. Both aired out. We're actually gonna go get something to eat real quick. Uh, so what's this place we're going to? Uh, after. After ice cream. So this place basically they put ice cream and donuts. I I, I think you guys saw it in the Beaver Fest video. If you guys yeah, are new, you did, you did try it once. Yeah, it's so good. It's only I only tried it once. Yeah, this right. I think it's only like a SoCal area. I, that's what I think too. But apparently, yes. No. Apparently, this guy says it's, it's in our Sacramento. area. I don't. I never seen it in Sacramento. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Bro, mine actually looks like a burger. I'm taking over my vlog. I am not vlogging for the rest of the day. Okay, I'll mouth. take over. I like a mess. I know. Guys, I don't know if you see my mouth right now. It's like all black. It, it looks like I ate dog shit. Um, <laughs> the food, it was so good. If you guys saw the pictures and videos, it was super good. Shout out to Nick for bringing us here again. We're about to actually head back. We're gonna, we're gonna pretty much conclude this video. But anyways, guys, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. We're still gonna be in LA for another day. Hopefully a full entire day. So we'll see what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have.